just keep it up and all off. You know, when you say, what are you going to be when you grow up? It always changed. It always changed. When I was really little, my uncle was in the army, my grandfather was in the army, so I said, I'm going to join the army. Then my mom told me that I have flat feet and I wouldn't be able to run too fast, and I have vision problems, so they won't accept me in the army. There goes my plans to join the army. And my mom always used to tell me that one thing that remained constant was I was a big drama queen. You know, I would stand in front of the mirror and, and pretend like I was this person from television and that person and, and imitate everybody else that I'd seen on TV. And she said that thing was such a constant that it was kind of, you know, a thing that was probably brewing within and all I needed to do was kind of realize it. So I decided I'll give myself a deadline. Let's do this till I'm 25 or 26, still trying very hard. And then I'll probably get into wedding planning. But uh, I'm so glad that Slumdog happened when it happened and I was not 25 then. <laughs> what is really difficult is not being on a film set and doing your job because that is what you've chosen to do. So you obviously will do it well or have to do it well. What is really difficult is the scrutiny that happens outside of it. So that would be the, um, the rumor mills when they start churning or when, um, when you have the paparazzi chasing you down a street or commenting on how your shoes don't really go well with your dress or the fact that you've not combed your hair or brushed your teeth or, the, you know, they do this little circle thing saying, hey, spinach stuck in her teeth. You kind of s sign this deal, like a contract saying, I am going to get into this film industry and all these things are going to be part and parcel of my life. I wouldn't say they're acceptable, but that's what happens and it's so hard to change it. I have done no film in India, so uh, it's very hard for people to kind of accept me as an actress because I have done nothing out there for the Hindi-speaking masses to really prove myself. So they really don't know who I am or they just probably don't take me too seriously, you know? I don't think people are fully ready to see a brown-skinned girl in a lead role yet. They definitely have accepted me um, much more willingly than in India, yeah. Not famous in India. <laughs> I don't get chased around. <laughs> the costume designer um, for Slumdog, Suti Raj, she came down to Bombay and she found out that the color yellow and orange just, you know, kind of sprung out of big crowds and just stood out there, you know, shining, very bright. And it was really vibrant. So she added that as my kind of um, um, main color. Whereas in Woody Allen's film, he said that the first time he, he would, um, I would be on, on the screen, he wanted it to be like a drop of red just there because everything that you see before that is um, browns and grays, very London kind of colors. The first time I met Woody Allen, I, um, was, not, I was not too sure if I was the one who was nervous or it was him because he was really shy and didn't say much to me at all. I was the one who kept on yapping away, talking about, um, you know, the, projects, the films that I have seen that are his and that he's made and the films that he's acted in, the plays that I've read, and he just didn't say much. He really didn't say much. I haven't been directly approached to do a Bollywood film. After Slumdog Millionaire, yes, I have been given a lot of scripts to read, but um, not, not directly approached to do a Bollywood film. I, I don't think that I completely fit the bill. I think so, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm really bad at, at dancing. I really feel I'm very clumsy. I have rhythm in my body, but I have, I think, poor coordination. <laughs> I just think so. <laughs> what I think would be most embarrassing for me if someone found out was if someone kind of somehow found a video of me being Teletubby when I was 17. One day, I think the, 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 the boy who was supposed to be in the Teletubby suit decided to disappear and, and they said, okay, so who can we find? And I was part of that event management company, but I was helping with other things. And they said, get Frida and put in the Teletubby suit. And I w was in the suit and entertaining the kids and making them laugh and being all chubby and everything. And I was like, oh my God, this is embarrassing. So if someone finds that, I don't think anyone will because it was a long time back, but that would probably be very embarrassing. <laughs>